to the video lecture series on advanced application process. My name is Jamin Pandya, Assistant Professor in Chemical Engineering Department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. So let's continue with the chapter number two, which is a membrane separation process. In this lecture, we will discuss a various method for synthesis of membrane, or can say that fabrication of membrane. There are various methods used for synthesis of membrane, but we are going to discuss about phase inversion process such as thermal inversion and solvent evaporation method and trackage method. So let's first start with various method of synthesis of membrane. There are different method of manufacturing of membrane. The basic principle of manufacturing process is to control pore size and pore size distribution at surface layer and decrease the thickness of surface layer. There are various process used for that such as phase inversion process which further classify as a thermal inversion process and solvent inversion process. Then package method, sol gel method, interfacial polymerization method, melt pressing, film stretching, template leaching, and preparation of an exchange method so we will discuss this all method in this topic but in this session we are going to discuss about these two method phase inversion process such as a thermal inversion and solvent evaporation and tagage method the basic principle of membrane method is that to control the pore size and pore size distribution at the surface layer so we can decrease the thickness of the membrane. So it is necessary to give uniform pore size throughout the membrane so that we can reduce the thickness of the membrane which is more beneficial for the permeation. If we are going to reduce the thickness of membrane which result in reduction in resistance which result in higher permeation or higher flux which require for the membrane separation process and beneficial for membrane separation process. So let's first start with phase inversion process. Phase inversion is a very flexible technique to obtain membrane with a large short morphology. Membrane properties can very greatly depend on kind of polymer system used. The classical description of phase inversion used as a binary diagram as shown in this figure. In this binary diagram, there is a three side. At one side, there is a solvent. Second side, there is a polymer. And at third side, there is a non-solvent. If we are going from the solvent side to the polymer side, the mole fraction of polymer increase and mole fraction of solvent is decreased. If we are going from polymer side to solvent side, the mole fraction of polymer decrease and mole fraction of solvent increase. To manufacturing membrane, the polymer and solvent are required. So let's suppose this point A. At this point, there is a mixture of polymer and solvent. Now, if we are going from this point A to point B, this one phase region converts into the two phase region in which one phase of the polymer and second phase of the solvent. If further we are going from B side to C, C side, Further solidification of membrane occurs and we can separate the non-solvent or we can say that we can separate that solvent uh, from the polymer which result in formation of the pores. The point ABC, the two phase region, a solid porous phase, the membrane and liquid phase filling pore. Point B is a transition from one phase to two phase region where the mixture split in polymer rich phase and polymer deplete region. At point D, the polymer rich phase become solid. So there are mainly two types of method for the phase inversion. One which is a thermal inversion process and second which is a solvent inversion process. So if we are going from this uniform solution to the polymer side or can say that at point A to point D side, we are getting this type of membrane. So this image is replaced as a point A. 
this image is reflect at point B. This image is for point C where the two face region are made and this face is a point D where completely membrane is developed and we are going to separate the solid from that material so the pores of membrane will form and this is a HCM image of the membrane. Generally in phase inversion method we are going to add uh, polymer and one solvent which go to the membrane casting then phase inversion process occurs and it convert into the membrane drying. So this process can occur in two ways one thermal inversion method and second which is a solvent evaporation method. In this method polymer is dissolved in suitable volatile solvent such as acetone and swelling agent such as the magnesium uh, is added. The mixture is known as a casting drop or solution. When the solution cast and solvent is allowed to evaporate, it results in increase in concentration of polymer at solution air interface. Since solvent is a more rapidly evaporated, evaporated from the surface, this results in formation of skin layer in a symmetric membrane, a phenomena which has similar with uh, case hardening in rapid drying of wet solid. When the skin layer is formed, the remaining solvent from the bulk evaporation at a much slower rate. The swelling agent in a mixture starts separating out of the different phase result in two phase with the substructure. Polymer solvent as a concentrate phase and swelling agent as the dispersion phase. Finally, with further evaporation of solvent, the polymer starts aggregating to form caught around the swelling agent. Biphenol polycarbonate could be used as a phase inversion membrane based polymer and present very good property. This method is used for the manufacturing of the cellulose acetate, cellulose triacetate and polyamide membrane. So basically in this method we are going to add polylactic acid as a solvent and polyethyl glycol as a swelling agent using chloroform making a mixture of these three components and evaporating this component. If we are going to evaporate this component, PEG come out from the microporous membrane and make the pores and the membrane is stored in vacuum place. So this is all about the solvent evaporation method. Now let us discuss about second method of phase inversion which is a thermal inversion method. In this method, the polymer solution is kept at high temperature so that single phase is formed. This is followed by rapid cooling to split the solution into the polymer rich phase and solvent rich phase. This results in solidification of polymer and its structure can be set by the cooling below the freezing point of solvent. The cooling rate is usually kept slow to get more homogeneous structure of the polymer. Finally, second solvent known as a non-solvent can be used to leach out the solvent. The usage of different solvent and combination of thereof result in membrane of different average pore size and pore size distribution. On completion of solvent exchange, the membrane are transferred where the solvent are slowly evaporates. This method is used for the manufacturing of polypropylene, polyethylene and poly olefin membrane. For commercial membrane production, the film is cast on fabric moving on rotating drum. The thickness of the film is uh, regulated by the doctor blade. Phase inversion takes place in gelation tank containing non-solvent through which the fabric with the film on move through the formation of ultra thin top layer. In the next step, it is passed through the rinse tank where the all solvent is washed out and the membrane is wound on take up roll. This arrangement show in this figure. So in this figure there is one polymeric solution storage from the polymeric solution storage this solution or mixture go through the casting roll to the extraction bath in which polymer solution convert into the 
polymer film and go to the drying chamber where the phase inversion process take place and we can get flat sheet of the membrane so this is all about the thermal inversion process now let's discuss about trackage method this method is used to prepare membrane where pore are not tartarous but straight through the cylindrical pore the example of this type of membrane are polycarbonate and polyester these are also known as a nuclear pore membrane in a first step of the trackage process polycarbonate or polyester film are bombarded with the massive energetic nucleus in uranium 235 fission fragment in nuclear reactor as they pass through the material they leave the sensitized the track or can say that radiation damage to the material pore density is controlled by the residence time in radiator where in second step the track left by the particle are preferably each into the uniform cylindrical pore in each bath generally warm caustic soda solution are used for the etching of that membrane pore size is controlled by the residence time in each bath this has been described in this figure so step 1 where the charged particle strike on this membrane after striking of this uh, charged particle it leave pores from this membrane and we can get cylindrical pores throughout the membrane the pore size of membrane is regulated by the charging of this uh, charging of this particle so this is one film where the charged particle are used to strike on them and it left behind from uniform pores throughout the membrane trackage method further classify as a ion beam irradiation and ion track irradiation technique where in beam the rays are used or in track method or ion track method the charged particle are used to make the pores on the surface of the membrane so this is a hcm image of membrane by trackage method which give this type of cylindrical pores throughout the membrane this is a cross section of the membrane so this is all about trackage method so in this lecture discuss about synthesis of membrane there are various method such as a phase inversion method then trackage method sol gel method interfacial polymerization method melt pressing method film stretching method template leaching method and preparation of uh, an exchange membrane method so in this session we studied a phase inversion process such as a thermal inversion solvent inversion and trackage method then discuss about the in detail about the phase inversion method where the, we discuss a trinary diagram where the solvent polymer and non solvent are three side of this triangle then discuss about the next method which is a solvent evaporation method in which a polymer and a swelling agent are used and evaporated and we will get the pore membrane then talk about the thermal inversion method where the solution is evaporated and the solution is converted into the flat sheet and evaporated and we will get the flat sheet membrane then discuss about the trackage method where the charged so solid particle or beam are used to the make the pores in a membrane so this is all about today's session i am completing my lecture here thank you